Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to a fun vlog. Today we are at Legoland Windsor here in the UK. It's my first time in a very, very long time. I think the last time I was here was about 12, 13 years ago. So I'm very much looking forward to taking you along the journey and yeah, it should be a fun time. Come along. So yes, here we are at Legoland Windsor here in the UK, one of the most popular theme parks in the UK. It's actually, I think the only or one of two, this one at Alton Towers, that normally tends to be in the top 10 list of popular theme parks in Europe. Normally the number 10 spot uh, tends to go for either Legoland Windsor in the UK or Alton Towers. But yeah, Legoland last time I was here was a long time ago, so I'm very much excited to be here. Big shout out and thank you to Legoland team for inviting me along and providing us with four tickets. I'm not going to be here on my own today, I have four of my friends who are going to be joining me as well later on. They've also given us fast tracks as well, so we've each got these uh, little wristbands which says VIP on them, which means that we get to skip the lines, which is going to be very exciting. Hopefully I'll be able to show you as much as possible. But yeah, the weather's amazing as well, like, the weather is lovely. That's the entrance we just walked through, collected our wristbands. And we're gonna try and have a full tour of this lovely theme park in the UK. We've already seen our first giant statue of a Lego character over here. We've also got a dragon here. But yeah, it's been so long since I was last here. I've honestly forgotten what it's like, even the entry area. Look at that. Look at the view that you get when you first come here. Amazing. And because it's spring as well, uh, I think this uh, dragon has some flowers on top of his or her head. Oh, and there's a little crow as well. Very cute. Oh, and just notice. This is also the time, so it's actually 5 minutes to 11 at the moment. The park uh, opened up at 10 a.m. But yeah, cool that uh, this lovely dragon of ours has a clock attached to him. There you go, I'm here with, what's your name? I'm Laksha. Laksha, how old are you? I'm 14. She actually turned 14 recently, so you leave a birthday wish for her if you want to. Happy birthday, Laksha. I've got Mahish here as well. Mahish, how are you? I'm good. What are you most excited about? You've been, you've been here before, but ages ago as well, right? So what's, uh, do you know if there's anything particular that you want to go on? Roller coasters? Uh, I don't know, I just want to find out. Exciting! Yeah. And we've got Sophie, my friend. You've probably seen her before. Yeah, I don't even know any <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there you go. That's my team for the day. Exciting times along. We're going to just walk through the park and see what we want to do. See what they have here. I think it's just like a little Lego station. Obviously with it being called Legoland Windsor, it's a Legoland theme park. They will have loads and loads of Legos everywhere for kids and adults alike to come and play and build stuff with. That's cool. That is very cool. Look at that, they've got different um, attractions, different important areas of the world, all in the shape of Lego. Very fun, love that. I got a rainbow up there too. Oh, this is brilliant. Very cool. Okay, so the first land we're entering is this one here, the land of the Vikings. Also, oh, okay. So Mahi just said, I think there's, like, there's one ride here. It might be a water ride, I don't know. Not sure if I want to get wet straight away, but we will see. Well, this is the ride here. It's like a, a traditional water ride and you will probably get wet on here but by the looks of it it's not actually open yet i think my friend sophie just checked and maybe it's one that opens up later they're just doing tests on it for now this reaction is called viking river splash and i love the logo for it and actually we just found out that it's actually closed all day today so you can see it there closed opens in the summer we're technically not in summer quite yet we've got about another month or so to go but you can see the wait times for some of the other attractions here we've now come across another attraction this is called the spinning spider and I love this spider animatronic in the middle of it, all made out of Lego. And it's your classic spinning ride, you know, like your teacups in the Disney parks. This one is a spinning spider situation. Not the biggest fan of spinning myself, so we are going to skip this ride for the day. It also looks to be quite a busy day, actually. Loads of people here. Mahesh, you know more about Legoland than I do. We, where is the land? That, what's the name of where we are right now? We are at Lego Ninjago Land. Ninjago Land, okay. That's where we've got the, the ride that we just saw, the spinning spiders. Yeah. Cool. And where are we heading to? We are heading to the Knight's Kingdom. Knight's Kingdom? Because we've got a roller coaster that we want to all to go yep, on, which yep. is going to be exciting. It's going to be our first attraction of the day, hopefully. across a castle and it is a beautiful castle the knight's kingdom i think you're going to be walking through there and is that right Mahish? we're going to be walking through there we're going to be walking through there and we're going to go to the ride with the dragon the ride's called the dragon which uh, i'm excited about it also it's hot isn't it like we're it's really cool. taking her yeah so it's a warm beautiful day today in may of 2023 it's a really cool castle though look at that very old school castle-esque you've got these lion flags knight's kingdom so yeah, let's walk on in. Sea monster. Oh, look at that. So the height 
height limit is 1.3. I think my age is definitely well above the height limit. Good times, yeah, like she says, the same. It's a 15 minute wait at the moment, which isn't actually too bad at all. But of course we do have our VIPs, there you go. So we're gonna be skipping the line. The VIP system is officially called the Reserve and Ride and it's basically like a walk-on. If you pay for VIP, which thankfully obviously we were kindly gifted these, you get to come straight onto the ride. The attraction is just there. Thank you, thank you so much. We can't, we can't film on rides, right? Yeah, that's fine, no worries. The attraction is just there, which is uh, the roller coaster, the dragon. Um, you can't film on rides on any of the rides here at Legoland, so I'm going to love you and leave you and see you afterwards. got off the dragon was it called that ride first attraction of the day what did you guys think uh, I really enjoyed it yeah it was fun the drops were really um, oh we, we, <laughs> we were in the back we were, we in, were the back in the back so we felt it more and it was just like yeah and yeah yeah, yeah. Really, um, no yeah, we lulled it now. Hopefully you would have seen the photo anyway. I spotted the flash, so I smiled at it. Love, she looks hilarious. I don't know what you were doing there. She's just like laughing or something. Your cap looks great. Nice cap for me. It suits him more than it suits me. It's a Tron cap from Walt Disney World. Anyway, um, I thought I'd talk about the photo thing as well. If you want to purchase photos, you can get digital photos of all the attractions that have photos um, for £20, which I think is a good deal, especially if you're coming with a big family, you can have them all on one pass. £20 and you can have all your photos. What's our next ride, guys? Water ride! Water ride! Water ride! Water ride! Water ride. Water ride. Right, then we're going to be going on our first water ride of the day. <laughs> Let's go. Lux just noticed a little drying section there where you come off and you can get to dry. If you wish to, this worries me a little bit. It makes me think you're probably going to get quite wet. This is called the Pirate Falls Treasure Quest. It's your log flume kind of ride. It's currently a 65 minute wait, which is quite a lot, I guess, because it's warm weather as well. But thankfully we can go through the reserve and ride entrance with our passes. The queuing area for this ride looks quite uh, entertaining though, which is nice for children, little playground area, whilst people are waiting in the queue. Anyway, you can see the ride here a little bit. As I said, it's a log flume attraction. You can see one going up over there. Again, I'm not gonna be able to vlog it because there's no filming at all on the attractions here. So I guess I'll speak to you after the ride. Hopefully I won't get to be too wet. We'll see. Oh my God, you can see the splash. Did you see it? It's okay. Look, this is the splash. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Laksha, she was at the front and she is definitely the wettest of all of us at the moment. How wet did you get, Mahi? You're okay, actually. Yeah, you got nothing. Yeah, your back. Yeah, your back is quite wet. And then Sophie, how did you do? Yeah, you did all right. <laughs> how did you guys find there, generally? It was quite fun. It was really nice. I thought the, d the drop would be more like... Yeah, it wasn't it was as steep like, as we yeah. thought, yeah. But, like, come you found the photo? Okay. See, so, yeah, hopefully you would have seen the photo just then. Sophie did a pose. Well done, well done. Yeah, that ride was amazing. Pirate Falls, uh, probably the, the longest queue that we've seen so far, 65 minutes. It was like a mix between, it, obviously there was, it was a lot of thing, but you also got to see a lot of stuff like as on your way down. Yeah, Loads was, of cool animatronics with the Legos. Yeah, there and, was a lot of like storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool, wasn't it? It was really cool. I though. enjoyed that. It's, it's nice that it's a mix of everything. And to be fair, even the first roller coaster, I didn't even mention, that had like a lot of things to do. So that's why it's fun because it's very much, it's not just a ride, blah, 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 and then you're done. You actually get to experience fun things as well. So yeah, what's our next? place do you know you have any idea Sophie? Ninjago. There was a Ninjago thing he wanted to do. Okay what is it? So we've come back to this attraction because somehow we forgot to do it. Um, in this building there is a ride. I think it's called the Ninjago ride or something. So this is the attraction that we're gonna go on next. It's called Ninjago. Isn't this a built big building in there? I don't know much about it. In Ninjago there are villains and heroes. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Look at heroes. them two. Look at these two. <laughs> Are you being ninjas? Okay, go on, continue, sorry. The heroes have superpowers and so do the villains. Okay. And then and then there's one chosen one. Okay, and who is the chosen one? We don't know who the chosen one is. That guy. 
Oh, that guy over there, guys, look. Well, there you go, Mahi. He's basically told you everything about Ninjago World and this attraction. I'm very much looking forward to experiencing it. Um, you've got, again, so many cool Lego features everywhere. Look at that. And I think the actual building that we're going to be going into, there's a... Oh, a crow just went past. There's a model of it as well. They have different elements and they can turn into their biotermedia. So that's like one of the ninja Ninjagos yeah. that's turned into? And there's one other there that's turning into a... Uh, that's the fire ninja. Yeah. That's the earth ninja. Oh, okay. That's the lightning ninja. Oh my god, there's so many different kinds of ninjas here. This is cool. Uh, this is a building. Again, I can't uh, take you on the journey. I'm there in the intro. It's amazing, exactly. <laughs> of the game me yeah mahi won the champion i mean the thing is with the photo <laughs> there's no way to deny your score sophie they literally put the scores everyone's scores on the photo which you should be able to see right now the ride was really fun it's quite long our arms hurt are you My doing arms it are so yeah <laughs> i don't even know what technique i've been seeing this yeah you were doing so much what was your technique mahi like you, you were like he obviously won and he was doing the best. Sophie tried. You were leading at one point. Yeah, I was leading. And then I was doing and so bad initially and I became second. But yeah, the attraction is very similar to Web Adventure in Disneyland Paris or Web Slingers in California. So it's like a, like a game where you shoot at things using your hands. It's 3D. It's a lot of fun, but also very tiring. Legoland Duck. Not a Disney duck, but a Legoland Duck. How do you feel? What? Uh, how we stood in a queue that we <laughs> yeah we could have gone through the exit the staff member when when he saw the thing was like you could have come but then we are children you know we're not adapt for the adult world <laughs> so if you and i are about to go on a ride that's mainly for children the children are not going on it like just currently behind the camera the adults are going on this attraction the children are not interested no <laughs> the adults clearly are are you ready now i think so do you need to measure me? <laughs> Um, as we were separated, um, because there's only one adult allowed in the oh, to go alone. That is so embarrassing. So I had to put all the children, because there's no children. Oh, she's all by herself. That's so embarrassing. She's still getting her life choices. She's so we were waiting for the queue for like 20 minutes now when they could have gone the VIP win, one train, which is one. Okay, we are now off to Laser Raiders, which is probably one of the main attractions here. Oh, 60 minutes! Oh, we need to go from here, Mahi. It's only Mahi and I on this. Laksha and Sophia are taking a little rest, so... Is it like a competition, do you think, this one? Um, yeah, you have to shoot. Ooh, okay, but with lasers this time round. Exciting! Well, we're just off uh, Laser Raiders. How did you find it, Mahi? I, I you definitely won again. Yeah, I, I was terrible I'm, at this I'm, one. I'm so good at these. Yeah. It, this one had like um, little laser shooting things. It wasn't 4D. You didn't have to wear any 4D glasses or anything. 
Um, it was fun, it was difficult. I think I got the gist of it after the first two rooms and I got a little bit better at it. It's very similar to Buzz Lightyear's laser blast in Disneyland Paris, but I think even more difficult. So you guys know how bad I am at that one. Hey, this one wasn't any better, but you did well. You did well. Yeah. There was one like really difficult one that you managed to shoot as well. Yeah. Like I was like my fingers were like Phew didn't really work but I was activating so much yeah it was doing really well the theming of this building though was fantastic in fact everywhere that we've been to so far all the rides have had such beautiful theming and loads of like really cool details to look at as well so we're at a restaurant called the hungry troll in the mythical land here in Legoland and we've come here for a quick bite I have decided to go for this fish and chips this was 12 pounds 50 and as you can see I've got loads of mayo here as well there's mayo on tap which I always appreciate when you can just get some as, as much mayo as you want. The kids have already had the sandwiches and they also have some uh, fish bites as well. Sophie's still waiting. Bless, um, bless her, like that. The queue for this restaurant was probably the longest that we had to wait for anything. We were probably in there for about 25 minutes just to get some food. So she's going to be getting some chips as well. But yeah, um, it's uh, it's not like a meal or anything. So it's £12.50 for just this. So I'm not sure if it's necessarily worth it. Normally, I feel like with for £12.50, especially for a quick service thing, you would expect to at least get a drink with it. I've got my water anyway, so it's all good. But yeah. I'm excited to give it a go. Laksha's is just laughing behind the camera, but this is the fish. It's pretty good actually. The chips are just standard, you know, fish and chips chips. Mayo is amazing. Fish is good. I'm gonna enjoy it now. So we are done with food now. The food was actually pretty good. I enjoyed my fish and chips. Um, very filling. It was a very big portion, so I enjoyed that. But we are now waiting for a show that's going to be happening here in this little area by the lake behind me. We were just walking past it and my friend Sophie spotted that the time the next one is at 3pm so we've only had to wait like 20 minutes for the next one. So we thought we'd check it out, see what it's like. We want to try and get an overview of everything that they have on offer here at Legoland, not just all the rides. So yeah, should be fun and then I think we're going to hopefully do a few more rides in this area. This area to be fair is mainly restaurants and loads of cute little shops. It's actually really lovely because it's such a beautiful day as well, like hardly any clouds in the sky. It's an amazing place to chill and I think I can see that loads of people, loads of families are, you know, staying around here, getting some food, enjoying just the weather and waiting for this show. One, two, three, what the pirates say? Oh! Amazing. Do you want to be that? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Mary, can you see how loud you can be for it? I will. Go for it. I'm going to pass it to Mary now so you can see how loud she's going to be. Okay, everyone. Are we having a good time today? Yeah! But I'm glad we got to watch it. It was about 25 minutes long, in case you're wondering. And I feel like it was it was definitely very much, you know, catered to children mainly. The children were having a great time. But even my friend and I, Sophie, obviously she's an adult as well, very much so. And the kids as well, they're teenagers. To be, well, one of them is 10, one of them is 14. 
um, they quite liked it. It was fun, but I feel like if you got younger children, they would for sure enjoy it even more. We have now come to another ride that we really wanted to do here before we move on to the next land. This one's called Mia's Riding Adventure. You have to be above one meter twenty to be able to ride it, and yeah, it looks pretty fun. Of course, we have our fast pass users again, again very appreciative of Legoland for giving us them because we've been able to get through rides so so quickly. So yeah, that's going to be our next ride. Let's go. <laughs> Stuff there. I'll leave it in your. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Well, we've come off that ride. What was it called again? Some kind of um, Mia's riding adventure. Mia's riding adventure. Did you yeah. feel like you had an adventure on there, Laksha? Um, it definitely was. At first, <laughs> I thought there was no harness. To yeah, on it. our backs, but it's fine. It, it was, was fine. Yeah. And then I thought it was gonna be like really, really fast, like really, really scary, but it's fine. Like if five girls can do it. I yeah, it, it wasn't scary. I would say it definitely wasn't scary, but it does spin a little bit, and because it went on for too long halfway through i started to not feel very well um i'm okay now but you know if you get motion sick then maybe some a ride to skip my friend sophie and the kids have just gone on this ride here that you can see behind me it's called hydra's challenge it's kind of like a water ride you get basically get to sit on these like motorbikes or water bike things and then um, it spins, which is the main reason I decided to opt out of it, just because I just got on that uh, spinning ride that made me feel a little bit dizzy, and so I think I just don't need to do any more spinning rides, even though it's very slow, like it doesn't spin, you can kind of see it there behind me. Um, I just think to be safe, I'd rather sit out of this one, so yeah, we're going to hear their thoughts after they come off. I thought I would take this time to show you the map for Legoland Windsor very quickly. So we enter through here, that was the entrance of Legoland. We've done Lego Ninja World, Nin Ninjago, sorry. We've been to the Nice Kingdom, that was the first roller coaster we did. We did this, the Pirate Shores, Pirate Falls, it was for the water ride. We've been through here. Um, this is where we saw the show just now. Um, and then now we're here in the Lego Mythical World of Mythical Creatures, which looks pretty awesome. And the ride that uh, we're about to do at the moment, I think it's a water ride here. So yeah, so we've got kind of, we've done, I think more than half the park so far. We've done all, main, all the main attractions, I would say. The majority of the main attractions are on this side, I guess, especially for adults or all the children. I think we've got this last bit left then after we finish up with the Mythical uh, Creatures World, which is mainly children's attractions, but obviously they'll have some cool Lego stuff as well, which we are looking forward to checking out. And then for 2023, the new attraction is this one here. It's a racing attraction, which we definitely are hoping to do at some point. And these are the two hotels that they've got. I've never stayed in a hotel here at Lego Land, So let me know if you guys have, and let me know if you'd like me to maybe try it out one day. But yeah, there you go, that's the map. There they are, you can see them. They're about to go on the ride. I can't wait, I'll be watching them. <laughs> the three of them got really unlucky. <laughs> Everyone went on the ride apart from them. Now they have to wait for the next one. Uh, also, whilst I've been waiting here, trying to hopefully get a nice shot of them once they finally go on the ride, my lovely family, because they watch my videos, Amelia, I believe her name was, and her lovely family. So if you watch this, so lovely to meet you. And after all of that, I'm joking, it really wasn't that long, maybe 10 minutes of waiting, they've actually now been told to go to the next one. I think maybe this one has now stopped working. This Lego figurine looks cool though, look at that, the Hydra. The two-headed snake, I think, dragon? I'm not sure, but there they are. Ah! <laughs> Right guys, how was it? You guys, you guys are okay. off now. <laughs> so Joy to be brutally honest. You didn't enjoy it, did you? I could see in your face you weren't having the best time. <laughs> it wasn't fast. Yeah. And when it was splashed, it was like it wasn't refreshing for me. Right. Okay, so you weren't you didn't enjoy the splash element. Enjoy you it. didn't get splashed, right? Look, look how look how dry he is. <laughs> did you want to get splashed? So you got unlucky that's, with the splash. That's what I tried to slow down. Yeah. I to down. So, so funny. Hair stinks now. I saw a moment where you got splashed so badly. Did you like it, Sophie? I loved it. She was having the best time. Yeah. I took so many photos of the girl, like <laughs> literally living her best life. Anyway, we have one more ride to do in this land, which is called, I think, the Flight of the Sky Lion, which no. is meant to be one of the more popular attractions. Here. I know there's a lion there. Uh, the attraction looks cool, the show building from the outside looks amazing. I love lions, I'm a Leo, let me know what your <laughs> star sign you are, my lovely Gemini. niece here is Gemini. So yeah, we are gonna go on this ride now and see, yeah, she's even got a Gemini necklace. necklace. Cute. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> This 
This one's a 70 minute wait as well, Flight of the Skyline. So clearly quite a popular attraction. Flashing strobe lighting. There is no height limit. Well, there is actually a height limit. You have to be at least one meter tall. And then if you're a little bit shorter, you need to have an adult. You are now ready to go. Thank you and enjoy your flight with the Skyline. We're off the ride. Sophie, what did you think of it? You loved it. I kept looking at you every now and again. Amazing. And you had this massive smile on your face. Yeah, I just loved it. It was beautiful. Yeah. Was How about you? Um, I thought it was going to be bad at first, but then it like got better. And I liked it, like, it, it smelled. Yeah, it smells. It you know, smells, you have your the elements. Do you enjoy the them, Mahi? Yes. We saw so many creatures, didn't we? Like, so many of the creatures that we've kind of seen like throughout the, the park. Like the ice bug. Yeah, we saw the, the hydro. Um, the uh, hydra. Yeah, hydra. That's the one, the yeah. two really snake cool. things that really you were. Cool. Yeah, very cool. We didn't cool. know what to expect. So yeah. It was a great surprise. So we don't want to say too much. Yeah, one I, I basically, I think this is my favorite of the attractions that we've done today at Lego Land. You can see the beautiful lion there as well. It's not just because it's a lion and I'm, and I'm a Leo. It truly was a really fun ride. Um, what I can compare it to is Soarin' in Walt Disney World. So if you've been on Soarin' or in Disneyland California, Soarin' as well. It's that type of attraction, which kind of makes you feel like you're flying. It's so cool. What I will say though, also, how cute is that little unicorn? Do you remember when you used to love unicorns? Like, you used to be obsessed I with love them. unicorns. You still like them? You'd well know. done. I don't like them anymore. Oh, kids, they grow up. Anyway, what I wanted to note about um, the flight of the sea lion is that uh, if you struggle with motion sickness and if you've been on soaring and you're fine with soaring this is a bit more difficult than soaring I was fine but the, the motions that they did on this one is like sometimes you feel like you're going backwards you feel like you're kind of twisting and turning it's not just moving forward so if you struggle with motion sickness very very you know extremely then maybe skip it but it was such a good ride that I would say even if you feel like you might get motion sick give it a go anyway <laughs> I loved it that's absolutely my favorite one so yeah we're gonna go on there. Is it called like the haunted house something? The next one? Some kind of yeah, haunted house. Yeah, haunted house. So I'm Some gonna predict, predict the future. It. I'm telling you, I'm gonna predict the future. We're gonna predict the future. I'm, we've already been up. Okay. <laughs> that's the hydro we saw. Yeah, that's the we saw the this this uh, creature. We saw him. <laughs> um, we've only got about an hour and ten minutes before the park closes as well. So to be honest, we've done most of as we want to. Now it's just kind of walking through the last few lands that we haven't been to yet and see if there's anything that we really want to do. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute Going for a ride down the side, PCH country limit I don't need a guide, follow lights, take me where I want to visit Hi guys. <laughs> like just not vlogging. I am the best person in the whole world. Take it or leave it. Okay, she's going now. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to meet you, my friend Mahesh as well. We love you guys. We got photos. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi. I think I did it. That was a little bit awkward, but we made we made it work. Thank you, darling. They look so cute. Look at the little yeah. ducklings over here. I love how you just see ducks in so many of these theme parks. Obviously, we've come to like learn to really love them in Disney parks. But these are Legoland parks and they're so adorable. Legoland park uh, ducklings. And this whole area actually is beautiful. We're currently kind of in front of one of the Legoland official hotels. This one's the Castle Hotel, which does look pretty well themed. Really nice. Next one we're going to go on is Deep Sea Adventure. No idea what it's about. I think some kind of maybe submarine situation.
Aerial. Well, that was really fun. That was a little bit like the submarine in Disneyland California. Oh, so we can see our photo here as well, guys, by the way. But yeah, we saw loads of fish, loads of um, underwater animals. Sophie saw a shark, she got scared for a moment. Yeah, it was very cool. Really enjoyed that one. to party. Guys, we're just take, guys, we're just coming off the haunted house. Oh, Lord have mercy. That was really, really cool. It was very similar to, if you've been to the Efteling, um, Villa Volta, that's an attraction that the first time my friend Marie and I went on, we were both like, oh my god, it was mind-blowing. And this is similar, you never know if you're going upside down or not, and you're actually not going upside down because you've only got a lap bar. How did you find it, Mahi? I it was, was weird, confusing. wasn't it? Yeah, it was confusing, yeah. We went on the roof and then we went back down. And I know. I'm like, I'll get <laughs> Sophie, what did you think? I wasn't expecting it, so I, I'm, I'm just recovering. From <laughs> Black <laughs> organ. Black show, what did you think? I thought it was like this person go around the house and like, boo. Yeah, I not at all like that. No, I, I, I was thinking that. something like that yeah. initially as well, but once I saw the way the ride, and you can kind of see it there, um, I started getting an idea of what no, it would be. I so think we turned because my legs were floating. <laughs> No, it it does make you feel really weird because oh, it's just, just really cleverly done. Um, really cool effects as well, so I would recommend it if you're into that kind of thing. Also, I think that may have been our final ride, the Haunted House, because in about 15, 20 minutes time, the park will officially close. We've done basically everything we wanted. Haunted House was at a 60 minute wait, by the way, even like 45 minutes before park closure, so quite a busy day. I guess it's like half term and whatnot. Um, so yeah, honestly, very, very grateful for our VIP passes to be able to skip the queues. I think otherwise it would have been very difficult to try and manage to do all the main attractions in one day.
Well, the park is closing in about five minutes. There are still people on that top ride over there, though. But I just spent the past 10, 15 minutes loving life here at a place called Miniland, which is kind of at the exit of the park. Or if you choose to go from the left-hand side when you enter, we did it from the right-hand side. Um, yeah, it's going to be on at the entrance of the park if you first come in. But it is incredible. This for me, even though the rides have been phenomenal and I had so much fun going on the rides, seeing all these miniature figurines of different buildings, different important buildings and monuments and places in the world from obviously the UK itself, England, the Taj Mahal, India, we've got the USA, there's just so many things, even NASA, there's a lot, like so many places, so many iconic places, San Francisco, Egypt, oh, sorry, I'm just like seeing things and naming them but it is so awesome it's genuinely like a little mini land all built by lego like the hours that they must have spent just to make this i can't even it's so cool we've got hollywood there <laughs> oh it's amazing i could easily spend like half an hour just walking through here and looking at everything obviously because we only managed to just kind of see this just before the park closes and i'm not actually sure like because obviously i think in five minutes time the park will be officially closed i'm not sure if they just like stop everything straight away like I said there are still people up on that ride up there which we didn't get to go on it would have been nice but it's like I think it's like a viewing thing which I do like a ride like that if you haven't checked out my afternoon vlogs make sure you do because my friend Marie and I went on one at the afternoon recently when we were there last time but this is awesome I would highly recommend doing this I think especially if you're coming here with older kids or if you're an adult yourself yes some of the rides you're gonna enjoy anyway but a lot of the rides are maybe catered to kids don't get me wrong, I still had an amazing time, so did my friend who is an adult and the children obviously loved it. But there's just so many things to do here at Legoland for all ages. And for me, this has been probably my favourite part. As well as obviously that attraction that was, what was it, the sea lion one. That was also awesome. It is time to say goodbye to these wonderful people though. Where's Laksha? Is she there as well? Mahi? Did you have a good day? Yeah. Amazing. Thank Weather was you. nice. No, thank you for coming. Thank you to Legoland as well. Yeah, thank it's you, been Legoland. amazing. It was amazing. Subscribe. Amazing. <laughs> thank Comment, you guys. Like, and subscribe. <laughs> thank you guys. If and you love this video, like it and if Yeah, there you go, go on. Comment then comment of course. Guys. All of that, all of that. <laughs> and if you if you just enjoyed all of it, then do all of it. Thank you so much guys. And thank if you, you want more content of me, please comments no that's never happened <laughs> mom's not letting her do any content just yet maybe when you're 18 but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye, bye.